All right, Damani Leach, man, thanks so much. Uh, man, I, I've been looking forward to asking you this one question. <laughs> that is, like, where were you when you got the news that, hey, this opportunity was available? And, like, what, what was your initial response? Well, um, I was, like most people, I was on a Zoom. Um, when, when I got the, the initial call and when I got the final call, I was also on a Zoom um, doing work. I was at the league office, sitting in my office, and I'd say both calls at the beginning and the end of the process were, were just amazing. I mean, the first one was really surprising. You know, I was humbled, um, you know, that there was interest in, in me. And then as I got through the process, I think each step of the way, I just got more and more excited about the opportunity to be a part of this great organization. And so then I finally got the call from Greg, um, you know, I jumped out of my chair. I was excited. Oh, man. Well, shout out to the Walden Penner, yeah. Walden Penner Ownership Group, and also kind of Lisa Rice, uh, Melody Hobson. Yeah. And, uh, Prince so, grad. So, yes, yeah, right. There we go. That's right. <laughs> and Sir, Sir Lewis Hamilton. Uh, do you want to say any words about them and just this opportunity to get started down this, this road with them? Yeah. So, during the process, I had an opportunity to not just talk with, with Rob and Greg and Carrie. Um, but also spoke with Condoleezza and, and Melody, did not talk to, to Lewis Hamilton. But, um, you know, I think one, just having a chance to really just kind of fanboy a little bit. Right. I mean, you know, they're just amazing people, all of them, incredible business people, civic people. Um, and so that, that was just great. And then once I got past that, really, to be, to be a great thought partner of theirs and, and work with them as they take on this new role of the organization. Every question I, I asked, I was getting consistent answers about their mission. They want to be successful on the field, but also off the field and in the community, um, which was really exciting and invigorating. Okay, you mentioned that uh, you've spoken to George Payton during the process. Uh, what do you envision this journey being like uh, in, in how you'll work with him while leading the business operations? Yeah, I think, I think George and I will work hand in glove. Um, you know, as an organization, we're all focused on football. Winning is our number one currency yes. here. It is our focus. Um, and, and although I'm not responsible for picking players or calling plays, I understand the importance um, that the business side can have on the success of the football team. Everything from making sure the stadium is full on game days, that crowd is on their feet, uh, whenever the defense is on the field and they're quiet when the offense is on the field and making it a really difficult place to play for the opposing teams. All right. Well, this ownership group has received quite a bit of uh, attention, I think, uh, especially for the diversity here. How important is uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion yeah. uh, in your mind? Yeah, it's, it's, it's humbling, really, you know, to be the fourth black president. Um, you know, and, and really the four of us have, have all ascended to this role in the last two years is really humbling. Uh, it represents, you know, I think faith in the ownership group, which I really, really appreciate their trust and confidence in me. Um, but also you're seeing an evolution across the NFL and sports business and people really taking a chance and um, getting outside of their, their traditional normal networks and, and looking for candidates who can really drive their organization. Um, I got a chance to know Greg and the Walton Penners through this this. Uh, process didn't know them before, right. um, and but was just enthralled by their commitment to one diversity, equity, and inclusion, but two more broadly, you know, wanting to be successful and wanting to win uh, both on and off the field. And you know, for me, I think I think diversity is a strategic advantage. Yeah. It's a, it's a competitive advantage. I like to win. I want to win. You win by having the best players on your team. You know that, right? right. You win by having the best players, um, regardless of where they're from, male, female, regardless of their, their ethnicity, their race, age, all of those things. Like you bring the best to your team, best to your table. Um, and then, but they need to be engaged. They need to be included, be involved. All of that is important. Um, surround yourself with diverse viewpoints and ideas. Um, and, and we're going to be able to innovate and grow and really be successful. Yeah, I like that. Well, this may sound like a simple question, but I think it's a little bit more complex. But in your role as team president, what, what does that entail? You know, just and also considering that you're going to be starting with new ownership, yeah. uh, new head coach, new quarterback, yeah. and also a second year general manager in George Payton. Yeah. So the role itself is really it's, it's probably more about what it's not, which is anything within the white lines. Okay. So everything outside the white lines is my area of focus. You're not going to be calling any plays? I will not be calling any plays. Um, definitely not. <laughs> so um, my focus is on the fans, um, and that is both the fans we have, the fans we want to have in the future, um, how we engage with them, connect with them, the different platforms we use, social and digital media, um, in-person activations, both at the stadium, in the community, around the state, around the world, 
um, really engaging with them, but it's also finances. This is, this is not a not-for-profit entity. Right. This is one in which you need resources to plow back into your, your football organization to give them the best chance to be successful. Um, and so we obviously, we, we need to sell tickets. We need to have partners that can help support us, um, partners who we can also support in delivering their message and connecting with fans as well uh, is really important. But I think the, the last is just the future. I'm very much about growth and innovation and what's next and how do we improve? How do we do better than last year? How do we set targets and grow from there? Um, so all of those things, those are my focus, everything off the field. Wow. Well, with your experience as a football player uh, in college and also working in the league office of the NCAA, how do you feel that's helped you prepare for this moment? Yeah, I think one thing is that football just occupies a special place in this country. Culturally, it yeah. does, right? It's, it, is, it is just like the heartbeat of this country. It brings so many people together, and, and it's a tremendous like honor, but it's also humbling to be able to, to be in a leadership role in a football organization. Um, but I also, because I played, I've, I feel like, and I said this to George and Nathaniel, I feel like I bring a level of empathy to it. I understand the challenges that they have. Um, I understand the importance of being successful and connecting with your players, both on and off the field, and the role that I can play in my staff and team can play in helping make them successful. Yeah, well, as you hit the ground running, what do you see are some of the first things you want to assess within the organization? Yeah, well, as you know, I mean, the season is going. The season yeah, is, is yeah. off and running. And um, so my, my approach is going to be about listening and learning. I really, you know, I think we have a great staff here at, at UC Health Training Center, but also at Empower Field at Mile High. Great staff of people. Um, I've had a chance to meet just briefly, but everybody is really positive, a lot of energy. Um, and they want to do they want to do well and do good things and so I really want to get to know them understand um, where they think they're being successful what some of the challenges are what are the opportunities and really start to explore those but early on we're moving the season is going so I want to be supportive and, and amplify a lot of the great work that they're doing early on yeah that's awesome uh, in December 2021 the Denver Broncos were awarded the international home market area yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, why is it important that the NFL continue to uh, expand the international market? Yeah, the, the NFL... The NFL here in the United States, right, is the number one sports and entertainment property. Uh, around the world, we have challenges. We have challenges from basketball and soccer and cricket. And for the NFL to grow, you know, been incredibly successful in its first hundred years. The next hundred years is about global growth and development. And what fans connect to, what people connect to, are players, they connect to yeah. teams. And putting our teams in a position to co connect directly with those fans are what are gonna allow us to be successful as a league globally. All right now, Broncos country, super excited. We've got Russell Wilson, yeah. uh, got Nathaniel Hackett, uh, new owners, got uh, Damani Leach in yeah. the building. What do you see with this football team and what, what are your hopes for this season? Obviously Super Bowl, but yeah. uh, what do you see as your vision for this, for, the, for this upcoming season? Yeah, you know, one of the things that was most attractive about this opportunity was, you know, all of that new fill in the blank, right? New ownership, new general manager, coach and quarterback and, and the energy and excitement that comes with that and being a part of that was, was something that was really, really attractive. And so my focus is on trying to support the football team, um, support the organization, give them the resources, the tools, the game day environment so they can go out there and win every Sunday. All right, well, Damani, hey, I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. Yeah. Uh, so welcome to Broncos country. And Thank what do we say? Let's ride. Let's ride. That's right. I appreciate it. Thank you.